Endometriosis is a common condition where tissue, usually found inside a woman's uterus, grows outside of it. People have begun to talk more about this condition in recent years, but there's still a lot of misinformation and a lack of awareness. Elizabeth Shores spoke with a Mandan woman about her painful journey. For nearly 18 years, 28-year-old Naomi Kranz has lived with the effects of endometriosis. She says since she first started experiencing symptoms, she's seen more than 15 doctors, eight to nine in the last year alone, and has spent thousands of dollars. I had one pain med, prescription pain med, that I took twice a day, every single day, no matter what, and that was just to mitigate the daily pain. Dr. Tara Harding at Simply You Wellness says endometriosis can be tricky to diagnose for several reasons. One of those reasons being that someone can't be officially diagnosed with it unless they undergo surgery. Every day in my office, the women that come have been dismissed, overlooked. Um, things that shouldn't be said to them have been said to them about their symptoms or just, again, a one-size-fits-all plan approach to them, even though that's maybe not what they want to do. So there is definitely a medical gaslighting concern and issue in this population. This was a huge part of what got me through, especially last year. During that time, Cran says she turned to crocheting to give herself something to focus on other than her pain. She turned her projects into a business. While she searched for a doctor who could diagnose her, she created more than 100 crochet projects. Each stitch is a step forward when it felt like I was constantly fighting to take step forwards medically. About a year ago, Kranz thought she'd finally found a solution. One of her doctors recommended undergoing ablation, a surgery that involves burning to get rid of the excess endometrial tissue on the outside of her organs. Kranz says she went for it, but it didn't work for her. What did work? was a procedure called excision surgery, where the surgeon removed the extra tissue. She says that made all the difference. Being able to be there for my kids and run around with them and get on the floor and play with them and not be hurting or have a dance party with them and not have to sit down after the first song because I'm just so exhausted. It's, I, I can't even describe how good that feels. Kranz is not alone. The American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists say one in every 10 women has endometriosis. In Mandan, I'm Elizabeth Shores, reporting for your news leader. If you want to hear more of the details related to Cran's story, you can listen to the interview she did for Dr. Harding's podcast, Hopeful Hints.